Good morning, it is Sunday, it's April. Spring is in the air, unfortunately it also is rain. Uh, we are going to go and check out the zoo, so come with us and see what's new, what's changed. Hopefully, see some tiger cubs. We're heading in, we don't need to call to the members area, but here it is on the right. We uh, arrange all of our membership online via direct debit. I think it's about £15 a month, something like that, I'd have to check. You are on phone camera today, which is usually the case for these vlogs now, but uh, it does mean we do have a bit of weatherproofing, which we might need, because look at the clouds behind. But it does mean that the zoo looks a little bit quieter than we were thinking it would be, so that's good. And we're in. Where do you want to go first? Just go to Ireland. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I do also have a new camera today, well, a new camera lens today, so I'm going to hopefully get some good photos, which I'll tag in the video. Unless I take really bad ones, in which case you won't see anything. <laughs> Something we don't see super often, the buffy-headed capuchin are out. You've got the one there on the gate, probably looking for dinner. And one in the doorway over there. I don't think I've ever seen them in this enclosure. We have construction walls up for the Africa section. Lots of construction walls up all the way around. It's like Africa. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely like the largest construction since islands. And all the way here, all the way right down to where the dogs were. Over at the Tamandua, they've added this uh, screen so you can get a better view of them there. Which is cool. That can't be a comfortable way to lie. It's like his head tucked under it. Yeah, because that's the tail coming forward there, isn't it? <laughs> and there's the other one in the, uh, the nest box, all up. Well, the entrance to Islands is back open again. So we're going to head down this way. Previously we were going in through the exit for a little while. Oh. And we do have a bit of a hefty construction over here, don't we? Look at this. <laughs> And you can see we work by that aviary over there and it goes all the way right the way down to the road pretty much and we believe the intention will be we'll be walking along that path in future straight up to islands at the entrance over there i'm assuming they'll be moving the digger at some point <laughs> look at this old brickwork from the like historic elements of the zoo and although a lot of trees were taken out, so there is tree protection orders for some of them, so they're remaining. There's a bit more information about it, out of Africa opening in 2025, so we've got a bit of a time to wait yet. And the old Sitatunga enclosure is now graded and uh, cleared out. And all the trees at the back there are cleared out, you can actually see the road where we come in. Yeah. There's a bus just going past. Anyway, enough construction, let's get into islands and see what there is to see. And Provost squirrels are very active today. Yeah. Really nice Birkins on them, haven't they? Yeah. This one looks like the boss. It's like not letting any of the, any others near. <laughs> Gemma just noticed the uh, bubble tea is back open again. We're kind of hopeful now that maybe, maybe we could get Dole Whip. If not now, then soon, hopefully. Looks like the uh, young tree kangaroos come out today. It's next to Mum there on the left. Sorry. Now the uh, bird flu risk has dropped. The aviaries have back open the watch through aviaries. I'm going to go through that one today. I'm going to go straight to the tigers. <laughs> Spring definitely in the air. Lots of lots of ducklings knocking about in the banteng enclosure today. Yep, of course, this is how busy it gets when the cubs come out. We do have tigers about, but I think we're going to have to be patient to see the cubs. Come on, Cassandra. Oh, look, she might be in a moment. I know, I'm sure. 
Dragon Chat. I like the little use charge. Oh, I'm tired. So they are knocking about, but they uh, get some fleeting glimpses of them as they run by. Monkeys have a good view, don't they? Yeah, now running round up summer. See the trees moving. <laughs> Ready? Look, he's going on. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my that's not what you said, Barbara. No. Didn't see his face. Yeah, Mum's on her way back. Yeah, we did see uh, her when she was as young as the, the cubs that are currently running around here. That's Mum. There's Mum and Dad. Oh, that's Mum and Dad. Yeah. Oh, Mum was born here. We saw her when she was a baby. Wow. <laughs> She's kind of bounding down the hill. She's really changed in the last 12 months. We'll go for a little wander. We'll probably be back here later as well because uh, obviously it's an exciting thing to see in the zoo once more. Yeah, it's good fun watching them. There's a lot of people there though, so be prepared for a bit of a crowd and get, get, get an elbow in now and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first time in this enclosure as well, this new enclosure. That is, of course, excluded uh, when Kasana was young when they first moved in. There's Dash. Look at the tape here, she's looking all grown up now, she's losing her humbug stripes. This looks like a miniature adult now, doesn't she? <laughs> we'll have a quick run through Monsoon. The hornbills are showing well today. It's like they've been fed. Well, they're helping themselves to some fruit anyway. Look at the tiny rainbow fish. Arachnid warning. Singapore blue tarantula hiding in the log. And Gemma's found the tentacle snakes. Cool. So there is. Here's where most of the rounds are. Then you along the lens up oh, affords us a bit more uh, close up opportunities of some of these birds. Yeah. <laughs> and we get to get to see some choice tortoises down here, and this dove here is actually singing. It's cool. Crown pigeons collecting nesting material and, and having a poop apparently. Birds are playing well today. Just hanging around in trees looking at us. 
Don't wait, denied. There is another place to get it, but they don't do the floats though. No. They certainly used, didn't used to. We'll make our exit from Islands for now. I'm sure we'll be back there in about an hour. <laughs> We're gonna go and see if we can see the new young anteater. A few steps down. See that new shed on the uh, Tamandoa house from here. That does improve things a lot. Stop having to really scrunch into the windows. Anyway, let's see what we can see with Capybara. Yeah, there's one right down the front here with a jackdaw. Well, we did see an anteater. It's in the bushes there, but no baby. So, could be male. And the light has suddenly dropped. Feels like there's going to be a big old storm come. They are still impressive to look at. The way they walk on the knuckles, isn't it? Quick check in at miniature monkeys. We are effectively sticking to this side of the zoo rather than going over the elephant bridge today just so we can concentrate on islands and see the cubs. The tamarind right in the window. They're also taking on food over here. Little feed of them. Oh, they stood for you! <laughs> 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 oh. There's a storm coming. It feels like, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It feels like in Florida when the rain's about to come and it yeah. gets a little bit windy. But it has been doing it now for the last past 20 minutes or yeah. so, so we'll see what happens. Not a huge amount of miniature monkeys outdoors today, I don't I think like I blame them. Okay. A, a light you having a good day so far? Yeah. Good. Favourite thing so far? <laughs> oh, there's anyone. Oh, no, it's a squirrel. Take no notice of Miniature squirrels. Look at that tree though, isn't it impressive? Ooh. And we haven't seen it, but the southern Tamandua do have access to the outdoor enclosure here. But obviously, they're quite nocturnal, so they're all killed up today. If you do come through here, it's usually good to listen rather than look. Because if you see things like the pygmy marmosets, yeah, you'll hear them generally and then you can figure out where they are in the trees and, and hone into that spot. But obviously it would have been quite cold and windy today. They're probably just around there indoors. And sure enough, we have a pygmy marmoset hanging from the ceiling just over there looking at us. Scratching his belly. So lap two. Uh, apologies if you're looking for a normal full zoo vlog, but we are Gonna concentrate on this area, so you're probably gonna get quite a lot of repeat stuff today. I could literally cut, cut and paste the Tamandua footage from earlier in the vlog straight in because they have not moved an inch. We do get water pigs on this lap. A handsome looking fella over there. What's his name? Trey? Trey. Trey Cool. To spice things up, we're gonna go through the Bailey Starlings and we're also gonna shut the door behind us and light the last person. Planting's really growing in in here now. They don't play the music anymore. He used to come in here and play some chill music and this fountain would run. It was proper, proper little zen garden. And some Java sparrows there though. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> he just runs in the minute I start filming. That's, that sort of sums up today, I think. And there's a cockerel under there as well. <laughs> Still quite a nice place to relax though. Great place to play Pokemon Go. Yeah, and Gemma's playing Pokemon Go. I'm just waiting for the cockerel to come and give us some grief, but he seems to be pretty chill hiding under the bush <laughs> over there. Are you going to stick around for a minute this time, Mr. Barber's darling? There's a few of them knocking about. They're very, very pretty, striking little birds. And they do have quite comical um, calls. I'm surprised it'll be very popular still down here, but we're getting a nice view now. Cubs all settled on that nice warm rock. And mum's come over.
Bit more of a successful little view of them there. All snuggled up with mum. And they've had their, uh, their zoomies for the afternoon and having a bit of a rest. But we'll continue to uh, loop this area just a little bit today just to maximise our viewing opportunities because typically what we would do previously at the old enclosure we would spend the entire day just walking around the entire enclosure and just just watching them and it was always a good fun time like for a proper proper zoo nerd you know <laughs> it's like dad's upped and off for a bit he's had enough being jumped on <laughs> A few people were asking actually, uh, the male and the female are still mixed. Uh, he has shown patience with the cubs. It's always the way they used to do it with Fabi and Karana and they're continuing to do it with, with Dash and Kasana now, which is nice. Some zoos will separate the male from the, from the uh, female when she gives birth to the cubs, but Chester with this pairing aren't doing. I guess they just play it by ear and see what they think. And if you aren't lucky enough to see the cubs, they do still have a video wall showing some of the highlights from some of the keepers' video footage of Let. There you go. <laughs> Since we can do Avery's, we're going to go and check this one out, which we've not been to, through in a little while. These walk through Avery's are high on my list of places to accidentally fall asleep in the zoo. Accidentally honest. I think maybe that's why they removed the benches to stop me from falling asleep in here. I think I've spotted them. I can't actually remember what this one is. It could well be with that call. The Oriental Magpie Robin Gemmas. Oh, and it flew off. <laughs> yeah, this is what we think it was because black head, white body. That was a good shout, Gemma. I'd completely forgotten its name, as I often do. Yeah. So yeah, even though we're regulars at the zoo, that's the first time we've ever seen that bird in this we've enclosure. Seen, even though we've not seen this bird in this enclosure, we've seen this bird in other enclosures. Yeah. We've seen loads of them, loads of them. But this one we've never seen before. <laughs> there you go. Because I think this is the only enclosure in. Yeah. And just when we thought we were having a bird free day. There is a zumba, I promise. It's hidden behind all the logs. Just sat down behind the tree. Yeah. Yep. I was like, he was just sat out until I got the camera and then he walked behind the log. Well, coming to the zoo when they tried it, they did the test of the emergency alert. It was quite interesting. Was like everyone around here's phone started beeping. I'm glad I wasn't driving. Seems really distracting. We called in for a little bit of an afternoon uh, refresher. Coffee. The Bang Bang Chicken Sandwich is fantastic. What's that? The, the coffee cake you had the first time you came. Okay, the coffee cake, yeah. And this is the uh, toffee apple crumble. Mm -hmm. Looks like we picked a really good time to come in here. It's apparently going to rain, was it, for the next four hours? Or? No, no, breaking the rain in 15 minutes. Oh, that's not so. <laughs> um, the uh, toffee crunch, crisp, uh, toffee apple crunch slice that I had was fantastic. And the sandwich is always really good. Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off then, but you Jim said this is a really good good addition to this. So. I'm just going to wait here until it opens. And a lot of people probably don't know this, but this is actually a money box. If you pop a coin here, it rolls down. And down and then in. You see the channel there? I don't have any coins on me unfortunately. We're doing something unprecedented. Something you've not seen us do for a long time if ever. I can't remember. We're going on the boat. Perfect weather for it. <laughs> the boats are all covered so we, hopefully the seats will be dry.
Uh, here's where the tuk-tuks are now. These used to be on the main path. Boat system is by Intamin, if you're a theme park fan, apparently. And the uh, boats are supposed to be set up so that you can't see the boat ahead or behind of you. So you like, you do feel like you're on your own going through. Extra yeah, yeah, that's a good point. It doesn't cost extra. It's included in your visit. So if you do want to come on it, you're quite welcome to. And the first time we ever rode this, we queued for like an hour. In the <laughs> yeah, it was early days and everyone was coming on it. It was great. And, and you used to have someone on the boat with you. Give me your running commentary for a little while. And we're off. Yeah. Some uh, local native bird life here. And since we're the only ones on the boat, we can do full running commentary. Yeah. We do go through the tunnel of love towards the end. <laughs> you can see the spot over there. We cross over that bridge there coming in, and these are the. The bubble tea and the boats. And the, bubble tea the bubble tea boats, yeah. And the first enclosure, actually, um, the coots. The coots are in the way of the ride. The ride will not stop for the coots. Um, no. The first enclosure is this. Uh, what's the name? Pig. The Walty Pig enclosures. You coot up there. The coots are fine. Um, <laughs> The one thing with this ride is uh, you don't often see much <laughs> sometimes. Uh, you have to be quite lucky at sometimes to see some of the animals. So the pigs, well, I mean, we didn't see many earlier. There's not many about today. I've seen two pigs. Haven't yeah. Been and there's the bouncy bridge that we quite like to jump on. Right. It is a nice chill place to be though. Yeah, and right, yeah. all being well today, we might get a sneaky peek of the tiger cubs. I mean, one thing I do like about this is the plant, it gives you a good chance to see the planting, like the horticultural team does a really hard work in Chester to maintain all this planting. Like it's quite fantastic myself. Especially in islands, they really knock the ball out of the park with islands, it's fantastic. Unfortunately, no, no piggies today. No piggies. And I don't think we'll see the band tank. But there's some great tits on the bank just there. Oh yeah, bouncing around there. Mm -hmm. good, good place to see your native animals. Uh, I don't think we'll see the band tank because we didn't see them earlier. No, they weren't all there, they weren't. No. And we're actually behind the um, Dusky Paramello enclosure here now. Mm -hmm. We didn't see them earlier either, to be honest. If you, if you look closely, you might be able to see the wheels that drive this around. It's basically a rope on, and giant wheels that pull it through, if, you're a, if you like your ride tech and stuff. And yeah, the cassowary enclosure is just over there. We have had some pretty good days where we've seen oh, quite a few animals here, yeah. Animals, actually. Yeah, but generally, I find the experience is more just a bit chill and a nice little boat ride, which yeah. is always it's fun. Free. And right. it's free, yeah. Unlike all the other boat rides, you used to, used to pay for the monorail, yeah. you used to pay for the other boat rides, and everything's just included. We have some native birds nesting here, there's a moor hen nest there. Yeah. You hear the chattering? She should be the butt facing us. Yeah. Like five and us. There's another more hen just down there as well. And now we're at the uh, the Bantang enclosure. Yeah, it does look like you're going to go straight for the wall, but it does it does take a turn here. And the point here is that the Bantang can actually come down and wade in the water. It's mm -hmm. quite shallow there, and it's graduated. Yeah. They're just not out at the minute, aren't you? No native birds. I'm going to mm -hmm. call a dove there. Do you oh yeah, there's another one on the bank. There's a dove duck over this side. I can't see it, but I can hear it. A more cool theme in here as well. Look. So all along you've got like relevant theme to sort of to well, make you think that you're in the islands that you're actually visiting. I think it's really cool. I almost feel we should do another lot where I don't give a running commentary and just film the whole thing. Yeah. And there is my favourite bridge. The Burnt Ends Bridge. The Burnt Ends Bridge. And uh, we're heading towards the Tiger Enclosure on the right there. You can see the overhang for the, the uh, enclosure's perimeter. I'm not hopeful we're going to see a huge amount here because of the, the planting the and the, well. the rain came down here. Yeah. But you never do know. Yeah. It's like 
almost Disney level theme and impact to this, it's really cool. We just think it maybe uh, if it had a running commentary on it, that would be good, just an, like an audio recorded running commentary. You know, I don't need I don't need a staff member on the board to tell me what things are, but a pre-recorded thing would be quite cool. No, it's called signposts and what you're going to see. Yeah. Like, there you go. There you go. And when, like, when I was younger and my brothers, they used to chase the boats up and down here. Yeah, so you'd see them quite a lot. Yeah. Will we see any tiger cubs here today? Just a tiger. Or even just a tiger. I can see tigers. I can see tigers. It's Dash. And, and, and Mum. And, and oh, here we go. Here you go. I got you a bit closer. There's Mum and the cubs. No, yeah, well, that was well worth coming on the boat for. Yeah. And Dash is actually just over there. We can't see him. We can possibly see him through there. Fantastic. There's the back of Gemma's head. Sorry. It's not your fault. Don't worry. <laughs> so we're heading out of tigers now and towards the uh, apes. This is this is the bit that borders the perimeter of monsoon forest. Yeah, so in the summer, when it's a nice day, you often see the orange orange, Yeah, it? down at the bottom here. And the um, silvery gibbons. And the bridges are all themed, but all the rock work. We do actually have another YouTube channel that we don't use anymore that has video footage from the members preview weekend when a lot of this first opened. Now back then the monsoon forest wasn't actually open yet I don't think so we actually have two videos one of the whole thing and then one of just the monsoon forest when it first opened so in its, its first iteration. So it has been changed quite a lot since the, 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 the fire. They actually redesigned the upstairs just a little bit. So if we'd come on earlier today, the Silver Gibbons were out in this enclosure. Yeah, they were, yeah. <laughs> and then this one here is um, the Orangs. Yeah, yeah. And now we're running along the side, the path goes down. And then you go past Monado over there. <laughs> it really does push you towards the edge of the enclo enclosure. It's quite cool. Unfortunately, no animals about today. I think it was very much worth the visit, ju the ride, just to see the tigers. Yeah. More native species. There's a blackbird in the bushes over there. It's quite far away, though. So you might not be able to see him. There he is. Just come running out. And also non-native species, there's some turtles on the rocks over here. They are fiberglass, but they're on the rocks over here. <laughs> I'm going under the bridge from Monsoon Forest's exit here. Gives you a unique, unique perspective of Ireland, I think. Yeah, there's a grey squirrel over there. More, I was going to say more native species, it's not technically accurate. Yeah, we have seen them here, I think, haven't we? Yeah. Coming up on another enclosure, this is where the macaques would be. You get the Act for Wildlife sign on the right there as well. It's uh, one of Chester Zoo's charities. I don't think there's any macaques about either. No, there's oh, there's a, a long tail tit in this tree here though. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. yeah. A couple, couple of, of them, yeah. We saw great tits, long tail tits, squirrels, coots, yeah. mohens, black bears. So, really good if you want to watch see native species. Maybe not so good if you want to see what, um, zoo species. No, well, it is raining, to be fair. Yeah. It's not the best day to do. No, it isn't. It's, it's, it's well, a we good day. We just wanted to see if we could see the tigers. Yeah, and that was a mission, mission success. Yes, it is. It does push you close to this edge as well. Yeah. Play like that bit in Valhalla at Blackpool where you come out. Don't <laughs> We've not done it since they rejigged it, have we? Well, we've not been to Blackpool for 10 years. Oh, we do get one more final species on the way out. It is, my Yay. lads. No, it's the um, the Anoa yeah, up there on the hill. Well, hopefully, we get some footage as we get closer. But we are now approaching the station. And there's the Anoa on the hill there. And of course, we have the my lads below them. <laughs> And 
and all of the signage is themed as well, so it's always like protected land, Lola Nanoa. Mission successful, I enjoyed that, that was good. Should do that more often really, probably on a warmer day though. <laughs> Although obviously on a warmer day the queue is likely to be heavier. Yeah, the queue can get big for this in the summer. Yeah. And having seen the tiger cubs, we thought we'd hightail it over to see the tiger cubs again. <laughs> uh, sleepy afternoon. <laughs> Good dash up there as well. This is only, it's only a tiny zoo just outside of Bodmore, oh, right. no, it's only 30 odd acres or something. It's, um, he's a bit of a poser that one. He will turn his back to you. He's been asleep all day that one. Now <laughs> stop! <laughs> Most animals are not even close to Yeah. Yeah. That's to keep us from going in there. It's like there for the time of the So we did just spend probably an hour just watching as you saw there. I got some photos so hopefully I'll be able to put some of those in towards the end of the video as well. That was fantastic wasn't it? Yeah. I think I'm hoping for more like not more but you know like more visits that we can go and see them yeah, growing up because yeah. they're still quite fun. small and young at the minute and they're already quite lively as well. Oh mum's coming round. Dash is up on the top, and also down here. There's prints on that side of the wall where the cubs have possibly been playing. But unfortunately for us, the uh, the zoo is about to close, yes. so we're now going to make our way out. We don't want to keep the, the zoo staff any later than we need to. It's been a while since we've done the uh, last minute run dash to the front <laughs> of the zoo. Yet. It's not our fault the animals are cute. <laughs> and we're nearly at the end of exit now. Funny the amount of people we walk past going the other way. The zoo does shut at five. <laughs> it's a long time since we've heard the zoo is closing message. And Gemma found a baby duckling. Yeah, I think it's a long time since we've heard the zoo is closing message. We're usually leaving at three. That's what they that's the tiger cub effect for you. And Gemma got a Bing trail sticker. Do you want a quick run through the shop? Yeah, look quick five minute. I should say the Bing Trail is something they do for kids at the minute. They can follow the trail around and look for clues and things. Yes, answer questions and you yeah. get there, like how many tigers are there, what colours and orangs there, that type of thing. Just a bit of fun. Never want to miss a promotion opportunity. 
you can buy tiger merch. Oh, the tiger bag is very cool. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> Always check for pins, but there's uh, no new ones that we haven't already got. An eight in one pen, though, look at that. Little things in there. Pen to go oh yeah. The rainbow coloured bottles are very visually pleasing. How do we made it? They didn't lock the doors. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was a really good day. It was. Really yeah. enjoyed it. And obviously the tiger comes with everything. Yeah, it wasn't too busy. No, no, it was pretty good and it was nice chatting to people. Yeah. Uh, some regulars, some not. Some people uh, from like Tiger Crossing. Yeah, yeah. Come to see, especially come to see the tiger cubs. Yeah, it was great. Um, it's really exciting having the cubs in the, in the yeah, zoo as well because for me, big cats are my favourite thing. So. Especially the tigers. The we, yeah, we got some good memories of like the previous years of Fabi and Karana and all the youngsters, including Kasana. Kasana, yeah, she was born at So Kansas it's like a continuation of the legacy. Uh, anyway, I think with that, we'll probably close this one off and we'll catch you in the next one, which will probably have more tiger cubs in it. <laughs> and so on for the next 12 months. I think ideal time to come to the zoo now. In the next six months, definitely. Yeah, they're only but there's going to be, yeah, there's just going to be the next 12 months, you know, at least. It's going to be fun. Yes. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.